Hello Connect Groups and welcome to chapter number 12 in the Book of Romans. Chapter 12 is the practice portion. So, are you ready? Yes, here comes the test. Are you ready? Paul is the professor. He is teaching this class on the, on the subject of Romans. And in the previous chapters, he gave us the context of our belief. Paul said that there is sin, there is also forgiveness. And faith is the foundation we all need to start our relationship with God that will transform us, that will make us different, but also will help us to conquer sin. Now, in order to pass this class and pass this test, you do not need extra work. You do, need, do not need other assignments. You do not need extra equipment. All you need is one thing, faith and faith alone. No wonder Jesus has told us that we need to listen to the Word of God to increase our faith. The more we store it in our heart, the more connected we'll be to God and our faith will surround our thoughts and our actions. And we'll start showing and bearing fruit. In this chapter, we put hands on and all that theory that Paul has given us. Theory is great, but we need to be seen. Our actions need to be shown. If faith is our foundation, others need to be able to see it. And like a good Baptist preacher, Paul tells us on chapter 12, three things that we will need to accomplish if we put our faith into action. Faith that shows through sanctification. Number one, it will change our inner self. Number two, it will change our, for the better our relationships with brothers and sisters in our faith family. And number three, we will have a better relationship with the rest of society. All of this is possible thanks to our sacrifice. Sacrifice that we can do it through faith. Abby, my daughter, asked my wife and I the other day, Daddy, what is sacrifice? Abby is six years old and to tell her, well, <laughs> in, uh, in the Old Testament, people will kill an animal and share the blood. <laughs> Maybe that raises more questions than answers. I love what the message says in, 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 in chapter 12 of Romans. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Wow, that is sacrifice, an offering to God. This type of sacrifice is alive. We don't offer it with dead animals, but with our life, with everything that we do. And it's an ongoing process that starts when we open our hearts to Jesus and continues to work today, tomorrow, and it will never end. Are you sacrificing yourself? Are you letting your faith through the Holy Spirit to guide you? Or are you just letting the world, the news, your friends, your family, to tell you what is the norm? N.T. Wright says about these verses on chapter 12, we should refuse to let the present age to squeeze us into a small, dictate to us how we should think and indeed what we should think and tell us how we can and we can't behave. But how easy it is to follow to what the rest of the world thinks is right? How easy is to give in in our convictions because the pressure out there is heavy. Perhaps that is one of the many reasons why becoming 
part of a community of faith is so vital in our spiritual lives because we find others that are trying to do the right thing for God and not for the world. But be careful, even in that setting, to not be simply mere way to be next to someone because they think somehow similar to you. We're not just trying to be near like-minded people. It is not just because it is a, a, a nice way to think. We're not just united in our own ideas, but we are united in the same faith. When faith renewed our minds, we could have different opinions, but that will not make us apart. We will be together. We will become stronger and we will share the same faith in Jesus and, and that will bring unity. We will be stronger. We will be closer to each other when we are united in our faith in Jesus Christ. And that will change our community of faith. And that will change our community outside our church but it has to change here first it's me first we have to present our lives as a sacrifice to be renewed by his word and the holy spirit be different and that will make an impact to my church and to my community are you doing that are you being transformed by the Holy Spirit? Are you taking all that is in your faith and sharing that to others? Maybe that's the challenge that Paul is trying to tell us in chapter 12 in the whole book of Romans. Are you up to the challenge? Are you going to change yourself change and transform your community of faith and change and transform your society we can do great things with him that is living in your heart let's continue with the discussions <music>